Hey, ciao studenti. Hello students. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about chapter nine in our baking book, and that is uh, Richie's doughs. Um, we're actually gonna be talking about laminated doughs today. So there's two different types of laminated dough. We have our croissants and we have our Danish. And so you can read the recipe. Croissants we're gonna make later in, uh, on in the semester. But today I want to show you how to make uh, your Danish. Uh, the Danish dough, we have to let it sit overnight. So what we're going to be doing is making our dough um, through the, the three-fold method and all the, the roll-in method and all. I'm going to show you all of that. Um, and then we're going to freeze our dough for the week. And then the next week you come in, we're going to actually make our different uh, types of Danish and, and uh, we'll have fillings to go with them. So anyway, let's talk about our... our uh, our Danish dough. Here's our ingredients. So first off, what we're going to do is make a sponge. So our sponge is going to be our yeast, our water, which is 70 to 90 degrees, and our uh, bread flour. So we're going to mix that first um, and let that sit for a few minutes. And while that sits and ferments, we can even do a pinch of sugar in there um, and let it sit on the side for a few minutes. And then we'll add our milk, our sugar, our salt, our a little bit of amount of water to put in it and start adding our bread flour. So when we're mixing this dough, we want less mixing when preparing the dough, meaning that we're going to mix our ingredients, work it a little till it's smooth, and then put it in the proofer, okay? So, um, and the reason being is that the um, gluten will develop when we're folding in all our butter. Here's our uh, 10 ounces of butter that we're going to shape two-thirds of the size of a sheet pan um, and keep it room temperature and if it's warm in here then we'll put it on the marble or we'll put it in the refrigerator just for a minute or so um, because we don't want it to get too cold. If it's too cold it won't go through all those layers and you'll have big chunks of butter. So if it's too hot then it's going to just spread everywhere when you roll it out. So we'll have to be very careful with that. Okay, so we want to make sure um, the butter that we use is a good quality butter. This is challenge butter, so it's a, it has less uh, water in it than your, your regular butters that you might buy. Of course, you can get really expensive butter to put in here too, or you can use um, uh, roll-in compounds, they're called, um, which they're used partial butter, part fat, that uh, work well. So commercial bakeries might use that, but we prefer to use a good quality butter. So we're gonna have our butter here. Okay, so let's get mixing here. So we're gonna start, like I said, we have our water here. And we'll put our yeast. Sprinkle our yeast on top. Now it says in the book to sprinkle your flour on top of that, but I, I like to make sure this dissolves. First, let's put a pinch of sugar in here. So that would feed the yeast. Give a little stir. Now, this is instant yeast, right, that we always use. So this actually could be just straight in the flour, as I see, but I still, I still like to dissolve it just a little, just so it gives it a little bit of a head start in that nice warm water. Okay, so now we're gonna, add, let's add just half of our flour, because we don't need it to be a really stiff sponge. You know, sometimes you add too much flour and it's kind of dry. It's a sponge that's really dry. And so, let's, uh, we're just going to add enough. Looks like it'd take all of it, so that's good. So this recipe is in your book. And like I said, it's on page 190 in your book. So I don't want to spill that milk. So here, there we go. Make sure it's nice and smooth. It's okay to work it like that. Get those lumps of flour out of there. There, that looks good. Okay, so there's this is our sponge. I want you to see our sponge, how nice that is. So we're gonna let this sit on the side just for a few minutes before we start adding our other ingredients. See, I didn't even clean my table up. So, I'm going to move my milk, my other ingredients up here, right now, because
because I'm going to get a piece of saran wrap. I want to do my butter. So I'm going to get a long piece of saran wrap so I can fold it in half. And so what we want to do is we want to make our butter is going to be half, half the size of our uh, sheet pan. Or, or excuse me, two thirds of the way of our sheet pan. So if we divide this into thirds, that means that our butter should be an inch away from the edge, and we're going to have it probably all uh, two thirds of the way because we're going to fold the the unbuttered part of the dough over the butter, and then the other part of the dough over on the other, and so that's going to start our layers. So we're going to get that going. But let me do my. Uh, butter over here. I'm going to move it a little bit to the center here. And fold over your saran wrap. So I'm going to press this down and pull your saran wrap, your plastic wrap a little case. Okay. And then I'm going to try to roll it out just a little. Like I said, it's room temperature, so it's actually pretty easy to work with. So you just don't want to make it too large as you're going. Okay. So here, I'm going to take this out for right now. Let me put that to the side. Okay, this is easier to work with. So now, I can stretch my saran wrap from underneath. And I'm going to press it to the edge. Again, we're looking for it to go just enough to be two thirds of the way. So you can use your hand a little. Now, if your hands are very warm, just be careful. I use a, a, a bowl scraper, which presses the dough very nicely. And so you can go to the edge. And if you feel like your saran wrap is getting a little too uh, crinkled underneath, so just pull it apart a little. You make it go. There we go. Uh, there. All right. So let's continue on. So now, of course, it's thicker here. So let's pull this dough down. I mean, the dough, the butter down. But I want to square it off. So just use your bowl scraper. Go on the edges here. Okay. Make sure you have it squared off. You want to make a square. Like I said, it's only going to be two thirds of an, on a sheet pan. So you don't want to use, when you're using your bowl scraper, don't jag it, you want it to go very smooth. So just push it lightly. See if you can do it, see it this way here. Okay. So let's, let's see how well I did. If I did okay. If I, I get a zero. I like to get zero. Remember, golden zeros are the best. But zero. That's how you say zero in Italian. Zero. Okay. So let's take a look. We're going to pull this over. Pull this to the side. So remember, inch. You need to keep it an inch away from the edges. All right. So inch is good. We're good there. And so, about two thirds, two thirds. So we might go just a little bit because that's about half, right? So you can see that's about half. So we're gonna go a little bit farther out to the edge here. So how about, so I'm going to hold that there. I'm gonna push it just a little bit out to the edge or where I think it should go. Let's see if that's better. So let's move this back a little. So now we have two thirds. About right there. So I'm going to leave it there. I think we're good right there. I think if it goes too much, you know, because our dough is not going to be exactly up the sides of the pan. It's actually going to be, and it won't be as big as your parchment paper will be close, 
but we're not going to spread it out where it's so thin that you'll have a problem. So I think this is good. I think our, our shape here is, is really well. Okay, so now we have our butter. So remember, always mark, put your name in the corner, okay? And this can go to the side, and like I said, room temperature is fine. You just wanna make sure, if you gotta put it on the, on the granite over here, granite, the granite stays really cold. Even though it's, it's warm in here, it will stay nice and cool. So uh, you can always pick up your butter, it's not gonna hurt it. Set it on the ground and that it should stay nice and cool there until we're ready to use it. Okay, so here's our sponge. Look how nice. See, and it's getting a little foamy because it ate a little bit of that sugar. So that's really nice. So one thing I'm gonna grab is a sifter. A strainer, but a sifter's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding by the ingredients. So we have our milk. Now, let's talk about this milk for a minute. So our milk is room temperature, but it hasn't been scalded. Now you'll notice in some recipes, it'll say you scald your milk, then cool it off, because uh, the enzymes will slow down the yeast. Well, because our dough is gonna be laminated and every 30 minutes, or because of time frame, or every 20 minutes, we're gonna have to roll out our dough, fold it, put it back in the refrigerator. It's gonna take some time. So, it's okay, but my, my, butter, my milk is, room temperature. Okay, so I'm adding my milk. To my sponge. Okay, I'm gonna add the water. Now remember, yeast kills it, so I'm actually gonna do part of my flour. This is bread flour, of course. And then let's do our salt, our sugar, and there's no pieces of hard flour in there, so we want to make sure that's okay that uh, uh, we take those out, so we'll sift our flour over. Those chunks would be in our dough, and we don't want that to be in our dough. So we're going to just keep giving us a stir. And I have a bowl scraper, of course, over here, so we start using that. So again, we'll do a little bit of flour. And we could sift your flour beforehand, if we need be. So we're mixing our dough. Keep mixing, scrape the sides. Now, again, just a refresher, that sometimes uh, the flour will be very, very dry because it has not rained in such a long time here. So there's really, even though it's a little humid, it's still really dry. It's hot outside, 90 degrees or so. So it's pretty dry in here as well. So you can see it's absorbing that it's flour. It's still a little wet, but it's, it's actually starting to come together pretty good. So we don't want to do too much of the flour. Might not take all that bread flour, okay? And that's okay. You don't want a really stiff dough for this. I mean, you don't, you don't want it to be tacky or sticky, but you don't need it to be really too uh, too stiff either. Okay, so just want to make sure. So we know we need a little bit more. And then I'll then I'll work it on the table once I get to that point. Okay, but like I said, I don't want to overwork the dough because if we overwork it, then we'll end up uh, um, overworking the gluten. And like I said, the gluten part is where we do the, uh, the rolled in, the three-fold and such, okay? So I'm gonna get my hands in there now. This feels pretty good. And it hasn't taken all that flour, but like I said, it's, it's quite a bit of flour. I, I believe it calls for a pound. So let's move this to the table. And so now I'm going to work it. And see if it's really sticky. If it's real tacky, then we'll add more flour. But if it isn't, then we'll go with it. So it's still just a little tacky. So, so 
little bit more fresh flour in here. Again, we don't want it to feel tacky, but we don't want a, a dry, stiff uh, dough either. So this feels pretty good. I know, I wish you guys could feel this dough because it's just, but even the look of it, I want you to see the look of it. And I'm gonna stop right now. The dough feels good. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, so see this is how our dough looks. It's just nice, it's smooth. That's all I wanna work it. I don't wanna work it anymore. It doesn't need any more flour. So we're gonna make sure um, we have this ready to go. We don't wanna overwork it. Okay, so spray our bowl, spray our dough. We're gonna put saran wrap right on top. Okay. So, your name in the corner. All right. So, technically, this is actually, right now, this is a, a lean dough, right? There is no uh, fat in it whatsoever. A little bit with the milk, of course, but that's it. So really, uh, our temperature, our proofer, let me take a look is it uh, 90 and 65, 90% 90, uh, heat and 65% humidity. So we're actually going to double this. This needs to double in size, okay? So we have our marker, we have your name on the, on the bowl, you have your marker, right? Mark our bowl like that. Once this doubles in size, it's going to, we'll bring it out. I'm gonna punch it. Uh, flatten it. I'll spray my parchment paper, oil it, make sure it's, it, it's uh, oiled, and I'm going to spread out the dough, and then I'm going to cover this with my plastic wrap and refrigerate it, which is called uh, retarding. It slows down the dough, it cools off the dough, slows down the yeast, and we'll refrigerate it for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll put in our butter. Once we put in our butter at that point, we'll do a fold, Roll it out, fold, roll it out, and that will be your first fold. We don't count the butter as a fold. So, but before we get ahead of ourselves, let me go put this in the proofer, and um, I will. Uh, uh, we'll do the next steps. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I covered everything. And if you have questions, just shoot me some emails. Uh, email me in the class or such, and I'll answer any questions. But. Uh, I will see you in just a few. Ciao, studenti. Okay, students. So here's our Danish dough. So it's doubled in size. You can see it's, it's touched our circle, which is really nice. So we're gonna take off our plastic very lightly. Got a little stuff there, it's okay. We're gonna use this over so we can just Keep it to the side, it's fine. Okay. So now we're going to punch our dough. Right? Okay. We're going to take it out. And we're going to put it in our pan. And I'm going to get the spray here. Spray my hand just a little. Get some oil on it. So I can press it out. We're going to press this to the edge. Okay. Uh, uh, we also, you can also take it out of the sheet pan. We have our oil here. I oil, oiled the, the paper for us. We have our rolling pin. So, oops, there's a little bit of oil there. So, good lesson here. You have to make sure that you have enough spray, okay? So that way it doesn't stick or oil your pan. I have a little bit of oil, but I'm just gonna use my hands. 
think it would be a little bit safer for us. I don't like this spray. This, this spray is the wrong type of spray. It has flour in it, and I don't like that. So we're gonna have to make sure we have enough of their other kind of spray. So we wanna just have it stay on the inside of our uh, sheet pan on the parchment. Okay, it doesn't have to go up the sides of the pan. Remember, our butter is gonna go on here, but we have to retard this first, which means we have to put it in the refrigerator for, I'm gonna say about 20 minutes because uh, it had, the dough has to get cold, uh, so it'll be the same temperature as the butter. Okay, it's gonna slow down the yeast. It's going to uh, um, uh, slow down the yeast as retarding. It's going to firm up a bit, so it's easier to fold. Now, here's our butter. I'm gonna show you this. But so, now we're gonna look and see how big. So, we may have to shrink this a little, which we can, because this is our, this is our size of our dough, okay? So, even though it's two thirds, the dough is a little bit smaller than the sheet pan. And then that's fine. We can make our dough just go a little bit. Uh, uh, we can we can make our, our butter a little smaller. Okay, so again, here you had your, we're gonna just cover this lightly so it already has your name on it. So that way when we put it in the fridge, it won't get a crust. So it has my name in the corner. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Uh, and then we will remeasure this before we're ready to put this. It's gonna go in the fridge, the refrigerator for probably like I said, probably 20 minutes as we have four hours in class to make this. So, so the time, you know, if you had more time, you could leave it in for 30 or so. But since we only have so, so much time, uh, 20 minutes will be good. Um, once it's cold, we'll make sure we we'll measure our butter. We'll shape it again. And then I'll show you the fold for the butter. That doesn't count as the first fold. And then you have to do another fold and then two more after that. So let me put that, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and uh, we'll see you in uh, in 20 minutes okay ciao okay everyone here our dough has been refrigerated uh, we have our butter ready to go so we want to make sure i'm going to take off the top here so we want to make sure that our butter is about uh, two-thirds so two thirds, so that looks pretty good there. Okay, about an inch. Might let's uh, let's shorten it over here, just a tad, just a little. So we're gonna pull it in a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna take our dough off side right now. I know we're still going to use that. Okay, so I have a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour here just in case we need it. And we have a little bit more oil in case I need to oil the rolling pin and have the dough. So paper is oiled, so see the dough comes right off. And uh, it's nice and cold. And so now it's, it's slowed down the yeast. So we're going to get this part here. So now we're going to roll in our butter. And so when you take off your, your plastic wrap, just pull it very slowly and pull it back like this. Move my oil out of the way. Pull it back like this. And then we're going to roll this up. I'm going to pick this up and it won't come off the saran wrap. Okay. And we're going to go and we're going to just barely set it on there where you want it to go. Just about right there looks good. So press it down. Don't press too hard but enough to let it stick to the, to the dough. So now I'm going to pull back my plastic wrap. 
Okay. All right, so now we're gonna start our folds. So the butter is not a fold, okay? So we're gonna fold the uh, unbuttered part over, press it down, pull it back, okay? And then we're gonna do the butter. So now those are our layers, right? Okay. So what I like to do is pick up the dough, turn it, so now I know the seam is uh, goes even with you here. Just vertical, horizontal. Okay, I'm now I'm gonna put just a just a touch of flour on top. Okay, so very lightly, I'm gonna start rolling the the butter into the dough. Okay, you don't have to, if you push really hard on this, your, all your butter and everything is going to squeeze out. So you want to be really careful. And you want to manipulate. Sometimes I'll put more pressure here or more pressure there to make sure that the butter is going evenly and that the dough is becoming a rectangle because that's what we're looking for. We're going to go to the same size it was before. Okay, you see there's a little air bubble there. It'll just pop as soon as we get to that part of it. Okay, so we roll this out. Roll it out this way. So if you notice, butter's not coming out anywhere because it's that inch all the way around. And so even though you're pressing that butter, it's not going everywhere. So, so far, that's, then hopefully I didn't speak too soon. Okay, so you want to make sure you get it as big as it was before. good so see I have a little indent there so maybe I'll just I'll just put the pressure I just put the pressure just a little look see it evened it right out now it looks really good so let's see what the other side looks like I'm gonna flip this over looks good too so now we're gonna do our fold so again fold Okay, it's a three-fold. Okay. Now I'm gonna oil my paper just a little so it doesn't stick to this when we refrigerate it again. Okay. So, all right. So that was the butter, but again, the butter doesn't count, right? So this means, so this is going to be the first fold. So now we've got to do the same thing. Roll it very easily. We're going to uh, make more layers. So every time we do this, it makes more layers of the dough. And we have more and more layers of those croissants. So you always see a croissant has all those beautiful layers. So we make sure, do each corner. lightly so your butter now you can kind of see the butter right there which is okay because we're going to have to refrigerate this again for 20 minutes to make sure that uh, the butter chills and it's easier to roll out okay there have that so it's a little thick there right so again let's just do the pressure with just, the, just my one hand I'm not doing any pressure on that side 
little pressure here. I'm gonna pop that. Yeah, just pop that little air pocket we had there. There we go. Yeah, what do you think? Doing pretty good, huh? Let's see. Okay, so again, so I'm going to flip this over again so I can see my seam. The seam is right there, so we know we have to fold it this way, right? Because that's where our seam is. So you're going to fold it uh, on the opposite side of the seam. So we're going to go here. And here. So now we're gonna flip it again. Okay, so I'm gonna poke this once. Okay, so now I know if I get distracted that there's only one poke, that means that I've only done the one roll. So that was the one because we rolled it and we put our butter, we rolled it out, we folded it, and we rolled it out, and we folded it, and that's the first roll. We have to do this uh, two more times. We have to do three three folds. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the. Uh, make sure the. Here we go. I'm going to put this back in the cooler, and uh, uh, and then I'll bring it out, and we'll do this a couple more times, um, and then we'll see the finished product. Okay, everyone. Put this over here. This is. Uh, been in the refrigerator for 20 minutes so now we're going to roll it again okay again you're just going to make sure your your seam is even paper is ready okay so touch of flour just and it's not going to hurt your dough so now again very low very very slow You want to roll out your dough. Okay, just take your time. Don't try, don't push too hard. You don't want the butter to start coming out anywhere. Just gonna take your time. Get all those layers in there. So we're going to roll it just as big as we did before and you'll notice how it's, it's starting to shrink back a little bit it's because the dough is so cold from being in the refrigerator so we're still good looking good so far any pockets anywhere just take your time go easy More pressure here, a little bit wider here, a little bit wider here, go this way a little, there we go, ah yeah, nice, getting there, we're getting to that thighs. So we have a little indention there, huh? So. Let's just do more pressure here. Get some of that dough going out over there. There we go. Better, huh? Again, I'm only pushing on the on the rolling pin on the edge here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push that dough each corner up. So, you can see we have a few, I don't know if you can see them, we have a few air bubbles there. I'm just going to give them a quick pop. And go a little bit more there, the sides are a little thick. 
push them this way a little. That side looks good. This side is a little bit there. Let's move that door over here a little. There we go. Oh, this looks good. Alright, again. So, here our seam was. So, we're going to fold it against the seam. So, let's go this side in first. This time. Press our dough, square it off. And then we'll fold it over this way. Stretch our dough, square it off. Very good. All right, we're gonna flip our dough. Make sure it goes this way. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, again, put the oil on the paper. Just so when we go to roll it out the next time. Okay, so now we have one, two. Okay, so that's two so far. Right? Okay. Put our paper back on here. Now 20 more minutes. Back in the refrigerator. 20 minutes. Then we'll do our last fold. Once that last fold is done, then we're going to wrap it really good. I uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, put our name on it, date, everything, and put it in the freezer. And then uh, we'll pull them out the day before. So that way we'll have them ready to go for our class. And, uh, or even that morning, because our class is at 1.30, we'll pull it out that morning. They'll be room temp by the time we need them, uh, in the refrigerator, of course, and uh, they'll be good to go. We'll make our Danish. Okay, so I am going to go and put these. I'm gonna go put this in the refrigerator, 20 more minutes. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, everyone. This is our last fold, so we don't need this anymore. Get rid of this in my little trash. Okay, let's take this out. So we're gonna roll this one last time and fold it, and then we're gonna wrap it. Let me grab the uh, saran wrap right here. Okay, and I have a marker. Okay. So, last time, again, very, very slow. This is the last time we'll have to roll this out. Put a touch, just a touch of flour on top. Here we go. Roll with the dough. I tell you, these are so good. I don't want to give mine away, but oh, they're just delicious. We have our dough, here we go. Same size we're looking for. Okay, and we know that the seam is right here. We're going to fold it against the seam. seam is right there. Fold this in. Fold this over. Look how so this is nice. Really, really very, very happy with this dough. Okay. Alright, so to wrap this, we're gonna get our saran wrap. So we have to wrap this really tight. And the reason being is that once it sits, even though it's going to go in the refrigerator, it'll still try to uh, proof. And so, 
if we don't have it wrapped tight enough, then what will happen is they'll pop out the sides and we'll have big old pillows, frozen pillows when we pull out our dough. So notice this is the third time I'm wrapping it. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to grab a label. One second. Make sure you put a label directly on the dough. Even though it's going in a, a Ziploc bag, if something should happen, then you'd lose your dough. We don't want to, to get mixed up. So this is Danish dough. Today's date. Now I'm gonna put two weeks because in case um, we have something going on and we can't get to it, uh, we'll have two weeks. Fourteen days. And I'm going to put froze right here because we're going to put this in the freezer in the day that we made it. All right. So that's ready to go in the freezer, so I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. So each of you will get a Ziploc bag. We'll make sure I can seal it. so I'll make sure these are out probably on Sunday because they're going to be frozen solid so I'll take them out Sunday uh, afternoon I'll have them in the refrigerator overnight and so when we have class at 1 30 they'll be perfect and ready to go so half of this dough will be used for mini Danish and the other half you'll have large Danish so okay so that's our product for the day I hope you've learned a few things about how to make Danish dough keep watching and uh, I will see you in class. All right. Out in the day, everyone.